Welcome. It's so good to be with you on this Wednesday as we get together for a little midweek Bible study and devotional time. And I'm so glad you've taken some time out of your day to join us to do just that, to get together and uh, dive into God's Word and hopefully be uplifted and encouraged by what He has to say to us and, and what He calls us to in the life He calls us to live. Uh, I'm sure many of you are familiar with the name Billy Graham. Uh, maybe not as many of you familiar with his wife, Ruth. Um, but there's a, a funny story that he and, and, and something I think we can learn from too, as we'll talk about in just a moment, uh, that he used to tell about his wife, Ruth. Uh, apparently she was driving down this backcountry road in North Carolina one day, and she was kind of navigating her way through long construction, and there were lots of detours and road signs, and um, she finally got through all of that and arrived at the end of it, and the last road sign said, with you know big letters, it said, end of construction, Thank you for your patience. Well, when Ruth Graham arrived at home, she chuckled and she told her husband, Billy, that uh, about that last road sign. And she told him, I want those words, end of construction, thank you for your patience, to be put on her tombstone. And she uh, did. And I, I think about that story. Uh, it makes me chuckle. Uh, but also, I think there's something to learn from it, as I said just a moment ago. Uh, but I think about that story, and namely that sign, as it relates to our faith journey and um, and, and, and how, how do we process that? How, how do we look at our, our lives and our journey as we follow Jesus? And a couple of things come to mind. First, I'm reminded that we are all under construction. Each and every one of us are under continuous and constant construction, or at least we ought to be. We all we are all works in progress. You know, in the in the grand adventure of, of following Jesus and, and giving our lives to him, uh, hopefully we acknowledge with the Apostle Paul what he said in Philippians chapter three that, that we have not yet reached the goal, but we press on to what lies ahead. We, we, we press on towards the goal, even though we haven't gotten there yet. Each day we wake to yet more wonders of God's love and, and his grace and new lessons to be learned. And there is a sense in which we can say that we never going to arrive this side of the grave. Uh, and so, you know, we, we, we are all, we are all being worked on. We are all construction projects. And, and unlike the story with uh, Ruth, uh, there's no end sign until it is on our tombstone. A second, along those same lines, I, I'm reminded that not only is uh, are we works in progress, but our faith journey is a process. You know, it's, it's not an overnight thing, regardless of what you know the the latest fad or book or podcast or or famous speaker might promise us. That there is no overnight transformation. Now there are some big changes that we can make overnight, but but our faith journey and our and our and our relationship with Jesus, just like any other relationship, uh, doesn't happen overnight. We, we, you know, a good marriage doesn't happen overnight. A good friendship doesn't happen overnight. Nor does our relationship. With Jesus. It's not an overnight transformation. It is a lifelong process. You know, in our culture of instant coffee and instant oatmeal and nanosecond technology, the everydayness of the, the mundaneness, if you will, of our walk of faith uh, can sometimes seem uh, daunting and depressing and uh, almost, uh, you know, discouraging at times. But I like what the English theologian Graham Scroge observed when he wrote these. He, he, he said this about the, kind of that, that idea of, of our lives being a process and, and struggling through the everyday. He said, spiritual growth is a gradual process. All growth, not some, all growth is progressive. And the finer the organism, the longer the process. And it is from day to today. How varied these are. There, there are great days, days of decisive battles, days of crises in spiritual history, days of triumph in Christian service, days of the right hand of God upon us. But he says there are also idle days, days apparently useless when even prayer and holy service seem like a burden. And I think he's on to something. I think he's right in, in a lot of ways. Our, our spiritual growth, like any growth, like all growth, is a process. There are no instant, quick, easy steps to maturity and godliness and our growth in our relationship with Jesus. Uh, Frederick Nietzsche, a uh, famous German philosopher, put it this way. He said, the essential thing in heaven and in earth is, apparently, to repeat it once more, that there should be long obedience in the same direction. I like that. Long obedience in the same direction. We keep on keeping on. And then finally, I'm reminded that we do not make this journey of faith 
without some patience along the way. The patience of others in regards to us and plenty of our own in regards to others. Years ago, I don't know how many of you remember this, but there was a button that that um, had the letters on it, P-B-P-G-I-N-F-W-M-Y. Uh, that's a long acronym, but the letters stood for, please be patient, God is not finished with me yet. It was a good reminder to not only the person who wore it, uh, but also to others that we are all under construction and patience is required both from them and from us. That means patience with ourselves, patience that we have not arrived yet, as we talked about a moment ago, that we that we have not become spiritually mature. We're, 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 we are growing into the image of Christ, but we haven't gotten there yet and will not be fully mature until uh, we are with him in eternity, that we have not yet fully overcome sin. We're working towards that, um, but we want to continue to trust in him more with our lives, with our decisions, with everything we have. Trusting ourselves, or excuse me, patience with ourselves, it also means patience with others, that, that they also struggle, those around us struggle, that they also stumble and fall, and we give them patience just as we would want patience given to us. I also think about how God is waiting patiently for you and me. God sees more in us than we often see in ourselves. I love what John writes in 1 John chapter 3, verse 1, when he says, when Christ is revealed, we will be like him. What a beautiful picture. For we will see him as he is. And so let's be patient with each other. Let's be patient with ourselves because we are all under construction. And God's not finished with any of us just yet. Hope you have a blessed day. God bless.